Now, the Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Bill 2019 has made first. The bill not only reshapes the map of Jammu and Kashmir, but also makes crucial changes within two newly created union territories. A union territory of Ladakh will be formed. It will be comprising of uh, both Kargil and Leh districts. A union territory of Jammu and Kashmir will be formed as well. The governor of the existing state of Jammu and Kashmir will be the lieutenant governor of Jammu and Kashmir, uh, the UT, and uh, the uh, four sitting RS members from uh, Jammu and Kashmir will deem to be members of the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Their term remains unaltered. The Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir will have five Lok Sabha seats. The Union Territory of Ladakh will have one Lok Sabha seat. The provisions contained in Article 239A, which are applicable to the Union Territory of Puducherry, shall also apply to the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. The Legislative Assembly will have 107 seats with direct elections. Jammu and Kashmir Assembly earlier had 111 seats, out of which 87 were elected. 24 seats in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir will remain vacant as in the earlier assembly. The lieutenant governor can nominate two women members to the assembly. Term of the assembly will be five years as against six years earlier. Central laws have been made applicable to the union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. Uh, propose, uh, the Ladakh government uh, proposes uh, delimitation of assembly segments. There will be reorganization of assembly segments and constituency maps will be redrawn. The grand old party of India, meanwhile, has split right down the middle over the abrogation of Article 370. So when Home Minister Amit Shah, who had managed to keep the notification a top secret, led, read out the presidential order in the Rajya Sabha yesterday, the Congress party found itself completely outfoxed. The Congress had a stand on Article 370 but had no strategy in place as such. In fact, the chief whip of the Congress party in the Rajya Sabha, Bhubaneshwar Kalita, resigned from the party, terming its stand on Article 370 a suicide. In his resignation letter, he wrote, and I'm quoting, the Congress has asked me to issue a whip on the Kashmir issue, but the truth is that the mood of the nation has completely changed and this whip is against the public sentiment across the country. It seems the Congress is committing suicide with this ideology and I do not want to be a part of this. Party veteran Janadhan Duvedi termed Congress stand a historic blunder. Meri Rajinitik Diksha, Jis Swadhinta Senani ke netra tume hui, Dr. Raman Olohiya, wo shuru se hi dhara 370 ke virudh baat kiya karte the, aur ham log sab us samay chhatra aur yuva andolno mein iski baat kiya karte. To jahan tak mera vetigat vichar hai, उसके हिसाब से यह एक राष्ट्रीय संतोष की बात है एक भूल जो आजादी के समय हुई थी उस भूल को देर से ही सही सुधारा गया और यह स्वागत योग्य है Former Congress President Rahul Gandhi maintained a complete silence on the matter even as uh, the BJP presented and got the bill passed in the upper house of the parliament. The first reaction by the Congress leader came a whole 24 hours after the abrogation of Article 370 and Article 35A. He tweeted, and I'm quoting, National integration is not furthered by unilaterally tearing apart Jammu and Kashmir, imprisoning elected representatives and violating our constitution. This nation is made by its people, not plots of land. This abuse of executive power has grave implications for our national security. That was a tweet that was put out by the Congress leader over 24 hours after the bill was tabled. Even other party leaders such as Abhishek Manu Singhvi have conceded that the Congress could not get its act together and was completely outfoxed by the BJP. The Congress, he conceded, was isolated with just the support of a few smaller parties.